What is good YouTube? My name is George. Welcome to another video. I just got this box in from Kariyuma, which is a premium eco-friendly fashion brand that's actually releasing their first skate shoe. I had never heard of this brand before. I looked into it. Kariyuma has been around since 2018, founded in Brazil by two Brazilians, and this is actually their first skate shoe. And I noticed on their website, they're building a skate team, so they're doing it right. It's an eco-friendly brand. Every time you buy a pair of shoes, they plant a pair of trees. So I'm so excited to try these shoes out and see how they skate. And this video, video is sort of a double whammy because I'm checking out the brand new Bushwick Aberdeen skate park in Brooklyn, New York City. I've never been here before. We had to hop a fence. Hopefully you don't get kicked out. This park is looking like so much fun. Let's unbox these shoes, break them in at this amazing new skate park, and then I'm going to give you guys my initial impressions and review of the Kariuma Katiba Pro. Off the bat, I am so impressed by the packaging. This is honestly one of the nice shoe boxes I've ever set my hands on. So already I'm getting hyped to put these shoes on and hello, Mr. B. What's up? You know when you just put your hands on a pair of skate shoes, you can kind of just get a feel for the quality. These are feeling super good. I love the design. They're looking sick. Particularly, I love how the white stitching matches the sole and the logo and the laces. I'm digging the subtle flashes of green on these different features throughout the shoe. And the laces look sick too. They even got metal caps. <laughs> Oh. You know that feeling when you get a new pair of skate shoes and you just feel that good energy? They feel super cozy. Let me show you the skate park and then we're gonna freaking break these in. Oh, Danny's here, by the way. What up, what up, what up? How you doing, Mr. D-Boy? Chilling. Do you think we're gonna get kicked out of this park today? At this point, I don't think so. Did you tell him about the lady already? Nah, that lady was tripping, yo. This random lady was like, you're trespassing. She took pictures of us. Oh, she's tripping. Here is the new skate park in Bushwick. All the features are looking pretty perfect. It's got this kind of long, slender design. Design. It's empty. I got new shoes on. I'm on my skateboard. I'm happy. Let's freaking skate. You know when you're just like feeling connected to your board? That's how I feel right now. These shoes already feel broken in. Also, I think that feeling how it feels to stall on coping is a great indicator of board feel. I'm feeling the coping super good on these skate shoes, but they also feel kind of pillowy and protective. So I'm perceiving a nice balance so far and I'm absolutely loving this skate park. If my board is like perfectly broken in right now, I'm very happy if you can't tell. Kickflip is definitely another one that sometimes it takes me like all session to figure out with a new pair of shoes. This one, Flick gripped real nice on that grip tape. Let's go! <laughs> Right there. We saw NYPD pull up, presumably because that Karen earlier was calling the cops, even though it's none of her goddamn business. <laughs> What's wrong with being here right now? The cops that kicked us out were actually super nice. They told us to just take like a five minute walk and then come back because they don't actually care. So thank you, Karen, for the mild inconvenience. We'll be right back. Yo, why are you jaywalking, dude? Look at this boy. <laughs> I fell on a pop shove it. Get Danny to 10K. Come on. What the heck? Yeah, guys, what the hell, bro? Yeah, what the f dude? <laughs> Please give me the 10K, bro. <laughs> give me the 10K. <laughs> That'd be great. And just like that, we are back. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh,
Tells you just what you should do And it's telling me I Bruh. Um, actually, each sun that sets may be our last chance. And each stone marks another waste tonight. I actually did a trick on the quarter pipe I've never done before. Pretty simple switch board slide back to regular, and I want to show you guys. Why does this fing happen to me? Jesus. I can't open my eyes, dude. Where'd my board go? Rest in peace, Danny Torres. Yeah, switchboard to regular, you know, it's nothing crazy, but you gotta take any little aspect of progression that you can find, because it all stacks up. In the arms of... I think the most healthy thing that I could possibly do now is to board slide this A-frame rail. I have this deep, deep fear of A-frame rails because I had a bad experience as a kid. Fucking ate fucking shit. I know I can board slide this thing. It's just that fear barrier. I'm scared, but let's do it. Oh, I'm giving myself one more try. If I jump onto it, then I'm gonna buy myself some Froyo later. I really want Froyo. All right, so now you get Froyo. Is that it? Dude! That was too easy! Last trick. Ollie up, crook. Back rookie monster. That's right, baby. What the hell was that? Oh my god, I love these shoes. Hi y'all, fantastic park, but come at your own risk until it's officially open. So hyped on this session. Since Danny died, please get him to 10K. <laughs> I'm alive. Pretty stoked on these shoes so far. Despite being a fairly thin shoe, they do have a fairly like lightweight pillowy feeling. They're a very, very comfortable shoe. One of the first things I noticed was this part on the back of the heel is a bit higher than usual for a low cut shoe, which actually gave me a nice grip on my hand as I was putting the shoes on. And I felt this like nice hug around my ankle and it felt nice and supportive. For me, one of the most important factors when it comes to skate shoes is just the hype and energy that they give me. So when I put these shoes on, I felt really stoked on how they look and they've got this thick, juicy sole that I think looks pretty cool. This sole is actually made entirely of natural rubber materials. There is no plastic in this sole and a lot of the times I think when you get that sort of slipping feeling when you try to flick your tricks and it just like slips off the grip tape, I presume that's because the sole is like sort of plasticky but this is rubber canvas suede and that sh flicks good when i saw the girth of this sole i expected not to be able to feel my board much at all but when i slid these on and stepped on my board i was feeling my board very nicely board feel is on point i actually think these shoes strike a nice balance between vans and adidas i found that adidas were a more protective shoe where you had to sacrifice board feel whereas vans are a more board feely shoe where you have to sacrifice protection so far i'm feeling like the karayuma katiba pros are a nice happy medium when i lock into that axle stall i can feel my truck hitting the coping. From what I can tell so far, the insole is very high quality. It feels nice and thick and mushy. I'm pretty confident that they would perform well when it comes to stairs and drops, especially because the bottom is so solidly constructed. A lot of the times when I get a new pair of skate shoes, I literally lose my ollie or I lose my kickflip. I pretty much had all my tricks immediately with these skate shoes. These shoes definitely have a sort of rounded look to the toe, but I really like this rubber sole construction as well as the suede. You know when you flick your kickflip and it feels precise? Kick flips, tray flips, my freaking switch tray was on point with these things. Obviously it's only been one session, but for a quick durability check, I'm seeing just a little bit of wear in the kickflip area. Just a little smidge of fraying right here on the laces, not too bad at all. Pretty much no wear on the bottom soles. You know, when your hype and confidence are high in a pair of skate shoes, that's a good sign. That's how I felt during the session and I'm like, just talking about it is getting me 
flustered. I feel like usually when a company comes out of nowhere with their first skate shoe, you would expect it's gonna be ass, but no, they freaking killed it. And honestly, I'm not surprised because the fact that they are already building a skate team really shows that they are doing this the right way. They're actually paying attention to what skateboarders want and need. Last thing I'll say is I think these shoes are a great value for the price. Feeling good, skating good, that's all that really matters. And bonus that they're made from high quality, environmentally sustainable materials. I'm stoked, yo. You guys could probably read this energy that I'm giving off. If you want to check out Karyuma's brand new line of skate shoes, I'll throw a link at the top of the description. Thank you guys for watching this video. I had a lot of fun with this one, going back to my roots with the skate shoe reviews. Thank you again, Karyuma, for the support. I really freaking appreciate it. And that's about it. Shred on, and I'll catch you on Friday. You're no, trespassing. No. Front tail. Are you pro? Yeah, I'm pro. Y'all already know that you are.